Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God for the promise of life in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers day and night. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears so that I may be filled with joy, as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake. But bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. And today's Gospel tells us, the Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. Shortly after Jesus began his public ministry, if you remember, he appointed 12 to be with him. These 12 would share in his work and become his presence to others. To this gospel, we are told Jesus increases their number by appointing 72 more disciples. And as he sends them out, the Lord instructs them to ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Jesus tells them to pray even more for even for more workers in the Lord's vineyard. The harvest is indeed rich and abundant. More laborers are needed in the vineyard of the Lord. And we pray that God may send more laborers for the harvest. But this morning I thought, at the same time, we should also pray that the Lord may make us willing and enthusiastic laborers in His vineyard. Because it can happen, and it has in fact many times happened, Nga, pray kita nga pray for more workers in the vineyard of the Lord. And in fact, God has already answered our prayers. He calls me and He calls you to be one of His laborers. But what is our answer? Sila lang, Lord, ah, ma-pray lang ko. I am old, I am retired, I am not healthy, I am sick. I have other responsibilities. Ma-pray lang ko, Lord, for more laborers. Sila lang, hindi lang ako. And so, we do not only pray for more workers, we pray for more individuals who will be willing, and not only willing, but also enthusiastic to work in the vineyard of the Lord. The Lord needs all of us to be His co-workers. By virtue of our baptism, we are called to become a witness to the person and the message of Jesus. In other words, each one of us has an important role to play in the task of proclaiming the gospel. It is not a one-man show. And that is precisely why when Jesus appointed 72, he would send them in pairs. 
we need each other's witness if that gift that God has given us in baptism is to be fanned into a living flame as the first reading would beautifully put it. Brothers and sisters, today the church honors St. Timothy and St. Titus, two of the closest partners, associates, or co-workers of St. Paul. Like Jesus, St. Paul also needed co-workers, willing partners, and collaborators in the Lord's work of drawing others to the faith. And St. Paul, we are told, had the highest regard for St. Timothy as a co-worker. He also had the same warm regards for St. Titus. But you see, St. Paul knew that the faith of these two co-workers were nurtured by the faith of others, especially the faith of their parents and grandparents. Without their faith, St. Timothy would not have been the man of faith that he was. St. Timothy's roots, or St. Timothy's faith has its roots from his mother Eunice and from his grandmother Louise. The faith that we have has been given to us by people significant to us. So we may not know it, but people who look at us as significant others, significant individuals, can in fact learn more from our faith. We can all look back to the faith of our grandparents, and perhaps our parents as well. Grandparents, you see, have a very important role today in passing on the faith to their children. And they often do this by praying for their grandchildren and praying with them. Grandparents love to bring their apostle church, pointing out various images and symbols in the church, explaining to them their meaning. Without our knowing it, we are in fact passing on the faith. Grandparents are so often among the laborers in the harvest that Jesus mentions in the gospel. My dear friends, the Lord needs each one of us to be a laborer in his vineyard. Each one, with, each one of us with our own particular and unique gifts. We in turn need to support each other so that we may respond to this task that the Lord is calling us. And so we pray that the Lord may grant us an increase in our faith so that we may also support each other in living out our faith. Amen. We stand for the prayers of the faithful. In Christ, we have become the light of the world. As a lamp is placed on a lampstand to give light to all in the house, may the light of our faith shine before others for the glory of our Father in heaven. And for every petition, let our response be, Lord, bring light to our life. Lord, bring light to our life. May the word of God be a lamp for our feet and a light to our path in our journey through life, we pray. Lord, Lord bring, bring light, light to our life. May Christ faithful by their good works shine before human being so that all may glorify the Father who is in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord bring, bring light, light to our life. May consecrated women Keep their lamps of faith and charity burning while they wait for the coming of Jesus, the bridegroom, into their lives, we pray. Lord, Lord bring light to our life. May those who have stayed in the darkness of sin for so long come into the light and freedom of God's children, we pray. Lord, bring light to our life. May the dead who have closed their eyes to the light of this world awaken to the light of eternal life in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord bring Lord. light to our life. And in silence, we now pray for the intentions of this Mass. 
as, re as we remember the intentions of all those whom we have promised to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, bring light to our life. Lord God, you are light, and in you there is no darkness. Shine on us, that we may have the light of life, and come to eternal life in your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which you bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness, Render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her with the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Patricio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of Thank the world. Of have God mercy on us. Lamb Christ. of God, you Bring take away the sins of the world. 
Have mercy on us. Lord Jesus Christ, Lamb of Amen. God, you take away the by sins the of the, the world. The word Grant the us peace. Through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let me depart it from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Keep me safe for eternal life. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. The body of Christ. Amen. For those who are joining our live stream celebration, let us now pray the spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you and I desire you to come into my heart. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, O oh, never leave me, may the burning of and most sweet power of your love consume me, that I may die for you, who died for love of me. Amen.
let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish us in that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed and end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection. protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever, amen. We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Sebastian. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.